salute to uh the NFL player Demar Hamlin, man. Then I think he suffered a cardiac arrest on the field, man. I think the nigga, the heart, the nigga heart stopped on the field, man. And I don't really like when I be seeing that shit in the headlines. I ain't the type of nigga to go look at the clips and be trying to, you know what I'm saying? I don't be wanting to really see that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, when I used to be on on social media heavy, I st- I'm still on there, but when I was on there heavy on everything motherfuckers like twitter and shit like that motherfuckers used to be sending me clips of like motherfuckers fighting or somebody getting shot or you know uh little freak accidents in mma and all that shit yeah i'm the motherfucker you send me that shit i block you yeah i don't want to see that shit yeah i don't want to see that none of that shit but when i watched the clip or whatever man you know he nigga bounced up and the nigga just fell on the ground man yeah that shit was weird that shit was freaking man yeah, man, but I'm glad to see that that young man is all right, man. And uh, uh, right now I'm finna put on the uh the ten fall koofy, and, and we finna go down the rabbit hole real quick, nigga. Ride with me. Hold on, let me get some of the tea. Ah, that's good, man. That's good. It's good for you. Good for you. Put that coffee down, man. Get you some green tea, man. Add you some elderberry, man. Some 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 ginger root, man. You know, a little lemon. You know what I'm talking about? And uh uh, put that sugar down. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, put your little honey up in there. You know what I'm talking about? Start your day off like that. You know what I'm talking about? You know, cause it's early over here, nigga. I get to it early. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, let, 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 let's ride down, uh, conspiracy lane real quick. Now, I remember back in 2020 when they rolled out them vaccines. Yeah. I'm finna talk about the goddamn vaccine, the jappy jab. Yeah. We finna go there. I ain't never in my life seen so many young people, 23, 24, 25, 26. When I was growing up, people that young weren't having like heart attacks and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all back in 2020, you can go look up. I forgot what episode it was, but fuck it. Go listen to all of them, niggas. Free game and all of them. But I said, motherfuckers taking that jabby jab. Give it three to five years. Some people gonna be before that. Three to five years, and motherfuckers gonna be just dropping like flies, like in the and motherfuckers gonna it's gonna be out here looking like some type of natural causes and shit. Here's my question to y'all that's listening right now. Did you get the jabby jab? Did did you let them folks tell you that you gotta take this shot? to keep your money I ain't saying you're right I ain't saying you're wrong I'm just saying that maybe you need to be cautious and don't be one of these people out here that's looking that's looking past that when you see these people out here dropping like flies people be 21 years old having motherfucking heart attacks and shit oh he died from natural causes what salute to that nigga Kyrie Irving being a motherfucking man about his. Nah, man, I don't believe in that. I can always fuck with a motherfucker like that. Now, I do think in certain in certain situations, Kyrie Irving just a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> when it comes to some some shit, he just a bitch ass nigga. But not all the time, though. We ain't gonna make it seem like he a bitch ass nigga all the time. Y'all should have listened to Kyrie. Now, I hope it don't happen. But wait till somebody on that basketball court fall the fuck out. Because I think the NFL was on the first, then the NBA got on the bandwagon, the, the, the vaccine bandwagon. Um, did you take that jabby jab, man? If you at work one day, right? Especially folks that do, you know, hard labor at work. If you see somebody, a young person, just fall out. Don't just be like, oh my God, I wonder if he was high. I wonder. No, act, the first thing you ask yourself, did he take the jabby jab? And how long ago did he take the jabby jab? Are you one of them motherfuckers out here getting every boost, every booster shot that come out? You letting them still pump you with that shit? I said back in 2020, three to five years, motherfucker gonna be, they gonna be dropping. But salute to that young man, man. He, you know, and he's so motherfucking, uh, 
you know, I know y'all ain't gonna like when I say this. He's so institutionalized, the first thing he wanna know when he woke up who won the game. Boy, you worry about the wrong shit. You still trying to please the white man? <laughs> you oh man, speaking of pleasing the white man, man, that's a good segue right there, man. Uh, y'all didn't know Skip Bayless was racist either, huh? Let, let me let me guess. Just like with Jerry Jones and the rest of these motherfuckers, y'all ain't know Skip Bayless was racist. Skip Bayless don't give a fuck about a nigga falling out on that football field. Let that would have been Tom Brady. Skip Bayless would have been on camera crying. I can't believe this happened. Oh my God, the NFL should be shut down for the rest of the season. Fuck one game. Fuck canceling one game. That nigga would have tried to cancel the rest of the whole motherfucking season. <laughs> Let me guess, y'all didn't know that white man didn't give a fuck about niggas neither. Look at how he talked to Shannon. Now, if you look, all you got to do is use your eyes. Look at Skip Bayless, then look at Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp can clearly grab this white man by the neck, choke him to death and kill him, break his motherfucking back, break his fucking neck, rip his whole motherfucking head off. Look how Skip talked to that nigga. <laughs> You think you think that white boy give a fuck about niggas? Oh, let me guess. You think just cause Lil Wayne, his favorite rapper, and he fuck with Lil Wayne, that he give a fuck about y'all or the rest of them jigaboos out there on that football field? Mandingo fighting over a football. You you think, man, yo, you nigga, man, y'all get on my fucking nerve. Don't get me wrong. I still watch Undisputed with with Shannon and Skip. Just cause I like I like I like watching them motherfuckers go at it. I'm just waiting on the day Shannon Sharp reach across that table and grab that little white man. And let that 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 uh that Georgia nigga strength just just rain down on that little white man. Cause it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I really believe that's going to happen. That might be the first time we watch a nigga slap the shit out of Cracker on, on, on national TV. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, uh, let me guess. Y'all didn't know that Skip Bayless didn't give a fuck about niggas here. Yeah, man. I'm a, yeah, yeah, man. Y'all want to be loved by white people so much, man. Y'all want white validation so much. Oh, my God. I can't believe that Skip don't care about us. I can't believe Jerry. I can't believe Jerry was was back in the fifth, uh, the forties and the fifties, uh, going against us. What the fuck you mean? That's a 70, 80 year old fucking white man. He say nigga all the time. What the fuck is you talking about? Every old white man you see, there's a good chance that he was he yeah. He was calling niggas niggas. He ain't fuck with no nigga lovers. If he caught his white wife looking at a nigga, he took her home, beat the shit out of her. Fuck you mean? If he caught his daughter looking at a nigga, he took her home, tied her to the bed, locked her in a motherfucking room. Every now and then he opened the door, spit on her. The fuck you talking about? Y'all niggas want to be loved by white folks so bad. Y'all run around trying to get... Y'all want to be validated by them goddamn crackers so bad. It's disgusting. And you wonder why your feelings always hurt when some white folks show your ass what's really good. Bitch, this is America. How many times I got to come here and say that? This is America. I know one thing. Don't no old white man give a fuck about me, nigga. And I done ran across some cool ass old white men. But I know one thing. If you come down to it and he got to choose between a motherfucker look like him and a motherfucker that look like me, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that his motherfucking ass is going with the motherfuckers that look like him. And that point one, that point one, the only way you might get that point one percent chance of him riding with you is if he trying to be cool with niggas. He don't really care about no niggas. He just probably trying to go viral. He just probably trying to be seen as a nigga that fuck with niggas. But when he go home and the doors close, he gonna tell his people, hey man, you know, you know, I just had to, you know, get that clout real quick. Yeah, he might be clout chasing. He don't give a fuck about no nigga. Nigga care about yourself. Goof ass nigga. Y'all think Skip, Skip Bayless don't give a fuck about you, boy. <laughs>